Hi folks and welcome back. As you can see I've been busy while well, you guys were gone. I've mined out a lot of this boulder here and used the uh, chisel to turn it into smooth stone that we can then do some building with. If I need more there's I don't need, need to keep going deeper here. I could mine that boulder up there as well but in general just mining for ore will give me enough as long as I remember to use the uh, chisel before I mine out. So the first thing we want to build is, why am I moving slow? Oh, grass. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to build is a charcoal pit. So basically a charcoal pit is one or more log piles that are completely covered by other blocks. It, the blocks don't have to be stone. I mean, they can be dirt, and a lot of people do do that, but I like to make mine out of stone, and I'll show you why in a minute. Yeah, here's all my lovely stone. Okay. Uh, yep, I can do one there. So the floor of it is going to be down here. Ah, uh, got, got rid of the stone axe. Still got one more stone tool to use up. Okay. Now you can make these things any size. I prefer them three by three and then too tall just because I found it doesn't take forever to fill them up at that rate but that's I should just stop talking about that because that's not gonna mean anything to you until you actually see it in use so let me finish this up and then we'll get to that get to using it Close to the water. I should consider moving it, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to move it one further back into the uh, hillside just so I have a bit more room to run around here. So. And then fill in the rest with dirt. There we go. Alrighty. So that's it. So three by three and then two high. Now we want to fill it with wood. So let's empty out our inventory here. Uh, I need to keep two dirt back. You will soon see why. Okay, now we get to use up this uh, axe. We need a lot of wood. So let's pick on this uh, giant redwood here. This will use up this axe completely. Yep. And now we can 
finish the redwood off with a copper axe. And yeah, lots and lots and lots of wood. There may even still be some floating up. Whoops, where am I here? Yeah. Can't tell. Uh, we're going to need more than that. We need, so we've got three by three, so it's an area of nine. And it's too high, so we need 18 stacks. And right now we've only got a bit over four. So this will help, also help us clear out the berry farm. And the orchard as well, so. Okay, now this is an example. Remember, I, I think it was two episodes ago where I tried to show you that thing where you cut down one tree and more than one tree came down. Well, that's what happened right here just now. I was cutting down the tree that was here and this one also came down. So it does still happen. I'm just uh, bad at predicting when it will be. Like I would think that if I cut this guy down here, Hang on, this one here, then this other one should go as well. I mean, I need the wood anyway, so it doesn't hurt to try it. But no, it doesn't. Hmm. So the thing I'm talking about does still happen, but I just can't figure out when it happens exactly. They call it the demonstration effect. If you want to show it, it doesn't happen. How are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pretty good. We need eight more stacks. I can see that in the future this tree is going to cause us problems. Let's get him out of the way. Ooh. I heard one go in the water. Yeah, there it is. None. Oh, yeah, there's one down there. Eventually I'll fill this pit in with something, but I'm just, right now it's my quarry. My stone quarry. A um, couple more. Let's keep clearing out the berry farm, I guess. Oh, actually, let's go clear out the orchard. Just make sure this lemon tree has room to grow. tiny tree in here hardly even yeah well <laughs> use the bread to access it get him out of the way get this one out of the way and this should give us plenty of room for that one one tree at any rate. We'll eventually find more fruit trees. Different kinds. I mean, I could go take like more than one sapling from that lemon tree, but I just like variety. Okay, this is good enough. Let's see if we have enough now to fill up this guy. So, there we go. Whoops, that's just 12. Now the log piles in here that you put in here don't need to be full. So in theory, you could just put one log in each one, but the process of turning it into coal ends up consuming some of the logs, like actually burning them. So some of the logs get burned up and then the rest get turned into coal. So if you only put one log in each pile, then that log will get burned up as fuel and you won't get any coal. Similarly, as I said before, you need to make sure that the log piles are covered on all sides by other blocks. So these are touching each other here and then there's the walls and the floors of the, uh, of the pit that I just built, the stone pit. And then they'll be covered with others on top. And then we'll fill in the last two. This gap, I'm standing this one up here, was, was uh, dirt. And so that'll give us, you know, it all secure. Now, if you leave an opening, 
Oops, I got more here. Then what will happen is the log piles next to that opening will simply burn. And you won't get any charcoal out of them. And I'm not sure, but after they've burned, it's quite possible that, since I've never done this, is that that leaves yet, a, yet more of an opening that would cause even more of the uh, log piles to burn. So, okay, so I need uh, seven more. I'll go chop down a few more trees and get back to you when that's done. So the reason, what will happen is we'll end up burning a bunch of log piles in this thing. And then after they're done burning, we'll have coal that we can uh, remove using a shovel. So you, can ju you just dig it up. And as we get to more advanced shovels, using better uh, metals, uh, the problem we run into is the if the pit is made out of just dirt, then, <laughs> then a, a higher level shovel can dig that up pretty quickly so before you know it you may have put holes in your pit so I like to make it a stone and also looks neater and it's easier to identify from the outside as well <laughs> I remember one time when I just early on when I was playing TFC as I had built one out of dirt and then I couldn't find it because grass grew over it and I couldn't tell where it was anymore okay so it's all filled up now with there are 18 log piles in there. So we've just got these, this one exposed here on two sides. So we'll cover one side with dirt. And then on the top side, we'll throw a torch. Back up a bit so we don't get burned. And we wait for it to ignite. There we go. And check the time. It's 8.20. I don't, re I don't remember how long it burns for. It's like 12 or 14 hours, I think. So while that's going, the other thing I can do is work on our next thing. I don't actually have enough smooth andesite here, but I can at least get started with it. So I'd like to start with a, building a better house, better home, something larger and more durable. Uh, originally, I was just going to replace the one we've got, but to make it big enough I'd either have to rip out part of the garden or end up digging into this hill. Wouldn't have to dig in the hill a lot but why do it at all? So since we've cleared all these trees out of here I can just build it right here. There we go. Now let's see I want a bit of room there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I don't want to infringe too much on the berry farm. So actually, so I'm going to move it over here then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which means the other side goes there. Um, in this corner, I want a four by four pool of water. Four by four so that it is always there. Well, yeah, it's not going to be a wall here. Um, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but the wooden buckets that we can currently create, while you can hold water, they won't take source blocks. They won't take source water blocks. Let me quickly demonstrate that. Where's my bucket? Here's my bucket. Just don't kick the bucket. Hey. Right. So like if I put water here and dig a hole here, 
and I pour the water in the hole, it just goes away. Same sort of thing if I dump it here, it just disappears. It doesn't even, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure if there was lava here that it would turn it into obsidian, but it's not going to flow all, all over the place like it does in normal Minecraft, right? To do that, we have to get up to the top tier metal or one of the top tier metals and make a bucket of that. And then that will be able to pick up uh, water source blocks. Along similar lines, uh, can't pick up la lava. And then again, there is another, there is a top tier uh, metal that we can make buckets out of that will let us pick up lava as well, but can't pick them up with a wooden block. So let's just get the corn, last two corners laid out for now. Um, one, two. How do you do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven deep. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, I think so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. One, two, three, four. Actually, go here. And there. Okay. So I'm going to need uh, a bunch more smooth stone. Oh, mining fatigue and slowness, right? I have to uh, drink. So while I drink and eat up here, Oh, that's something I'll show you actually just before I head off. Remember I was telling you how food eventually goes bad? Here you can see some. It's time ran out and now it's rotten. And it'll make you sick. I don't know if it's possible to get any nutrition at all out of them when they're like that. Oh, there's only one day left on these guys. I better start eating them. Okay, but so I'll toss the uh, those out. Anyway, I'm going to eat and then I'll make a bunch more smooth stone for building and then I'll bring you back in. Okay, I've uh, now mined out a bunch of smooth stone and I also made a bunch of Douglas fir planks because that's what I want the flooring to be made of. And for some of the, what I'm going to do next, it's going to be easier if the floor is in place. So... I don't need flooring there. So what I want to do is make a uh, forge. So let's see if I can boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay, I'll do it here. Now a forge is kind of like a fire pit, which is surrounded on all sides except its top by stone. So that means one there and one there. Then we have the outer wall, which will provide one there. It's there and we don't need one underneath it there. Okay. Let's go see if our uh, Charcoal is done. Oh, that's going to be running water in there, isn't it? Uh, I'll fix that later. The sound of that's going to be annoying. Let's go see if our charcoal is done. No, you can tell it's not done because there's still smoke coming up out of it. Okay. Now, um, this is not yet a, uh, a forge. We need charcoal to be able to finish off the forge. But with charcoal, we can make that make this into a forge. However, the thing is, is that a forge has to be able to, um, well, see the sky, but it has to be able to vent. So right now there's no, that can vent straight up in the sky. But once I put a roof on my house, I'm putting the forge inside the house, that it won't be able to vent anymore. So, you know. It's always good to vent. So when, so what I could do is, of course, put a hole in my roof right above the forge. But then if it rains, the rain will come down and put the forge out. 
So what you're allowed to do when providing venting for the forward forge is allow you can allow it to like take one jog over. And that's what I'm gonna do here. Oh, whoops, don't need it there actually. Actually where I needed that wooden block was there. Okay, so now you can see what I've done here is the forge will be in here and then I have a chimney at the back now. So it's open here and then it's empty all the way up and can vent up. And that way if it rains, the rain will splash harmlessly down here and won't try and put my forge fire out. All right, check one more time to see if we've got coal yet. Charcoal. Still going. Wow, what time is it? So it's one in the morning and it was like 8.20 so it's already been going for 17 hours. Didn't think it was that long. Alright, we are going to want a door on this side. Actually, do we need a door here? Nah. No, we don't need a door on this side. We want a window but we don't need a door. We will definitely want a door on this side. One, two, three, one, two, three. And of course we we'll want a nice front door. Yep. And now I can complete this back wall. Need more stone, more smooth stone which is not too surprising. Okay, so there we go. There's my pool. Yeah, I guess I want there we go. That's my permanent pool established. Whoops, don't want one there. Oh, we might as well do these two guys too. So we don't have to worry about the water later. And then we'll come over and check our... Ah, it looks like it's done now. So if we look at the time... 3.40 and it was 8.20 I think when we started. So 5, that looks like 19 hours. Might have been 18. We were over there for a couple hours. So we remove our, uh, the dirt that we put on there to seal it up, and as you can see, we have this rather noisy coal. And so the coal stacks in each block, it can stack up to eight layers. And you'll see they don't go all the way, even though I had full uh full log piles in here there's varying degrees that they don't fill all the way up to the top of the pit and that's the amount that the amount of the logs that got burned as fuel so i'll collect the rest of this off camera but right now i'll take the coal charcoal not coal charcoal here and 
and I don't have my fire starter with me. Could probably. This might be another thing that I can toss a torch onto, but I know a fire starter will work, so. Okay. Now, assuming this hasn't changed, I go one, two, three, six, seven, eight. And just have to touch it. Don't even have to stand there rubbing it. That's nice. Okay. And uh, I don't know there's too much here to, that I can do, but I'll just show. So there's the fuel can go in here and, you know, I could put, lo I believe I can put logs in. Nope, can't. Okay. But it will take charcoal or coal. If we ever find coal, that would be nice. Um, and... This is also will give us a place for our molds. And what will happen is as long as you have molds in here, if you're warming up an ingot and it, you accidentally warm it up too much and it melts, then the mold will catch it. If you don't have these here, then you just lose the lose ingot. So it's always nice to have some here for safety. And then these slots up here are the things that you actually want to heat up. So, you know, if this had some ore in it, I could heat it up here. Um, so typically you're warming up ingots so you can work on it, work them on an anvil, something like that. Or, you know, oh, actually I can show you making torches. So this is the way to make torches on mass, <laughs> 10 at a time. So there we go. That's now in place, and that'll allow me to lay out all the rest of the uh, house. But as I said, I'm going to need a lot more... Uh, going to have to go and dig up a lot more smooth stone for that. Any more food go rotten? No. Great. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Um, next episode... Well, we'll do more work on the house and as part of the work on the house, we'll get started on our search for flux. But other than that, I'm going to call it an episode here and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back. Bye now.